time for adventuring once again. We're going to head off on yet another road trip. It's always nice when something like this appears on the forecourt. So this time we've got the Skoda Fabia Monte Carlo. Now you'll remember some years ago I got behind the wheel of the SCL. And the model we drove, well, it had a 1 litre engine. Whereas this has got the 1.5 turbo. I'm Ben Quirk, welcome to Planet Auto. Believe it or not, I can actually get an EMTB in the back of here. And it's not small to start with. Plus it's a Skoda, so it's simply clever, meaning it's got lots of functionality, lots of practicality, and also those crazy things that you'll find, like, say, the ice scraper in the petrol cab, an umbrella. Who knows what else is in this treasure trove? You're probably thinking, okay, what's Monte Carlo got to do with Skoda? Well, they've had a relationship with the Monaco-based race for, I think it's about 86 years which meant it was back in the times of Lauren Clement. Because as we know, it's all now part of VWG. And saying that, this is actually built on MQB AO. What AO allows is for them to make smaller vehicles, things like this and the Arona. Now the thing about the Fabia is, when you take it to Monte Carlo level, well, it becomes something completely different. For a start, this has got far more tech and far more additions than it, say, would have five or six years ago. For example, you'll get things that you'd only find on, say, the Octavia or the Superb. There's options like a heated windscreen. You've also got more advanced engine systems. Yes, it's got four cylinders, but when you're under, a, say, a low load, it'll be running on two cylinders to make it far more economical. They've also reduced drag and done some fun things with, I think it's shutters at the front. I suppose what you need to take away from it is it's far more economical. I mean, it claims around 45 to the gallon, but I was getting pretty close to that with my normal driving. So on an eco run, well, the sky's the limit. The Monte Carlo. Yeah, it's not the most cost-effective solution if you want a Fabio. This is around 28,000, but it's all singing and dancing. But to think you can pick a Fabio up for just under 19,000? It's longer and wider and more spacious than it's ever been. And the other thing is, it's got a longer wheelbase than the first Octavia. It's got completely different bumpers. It's also got, say, like these black accents. Inside, you've got a black roof, you've got black A-pillars and sports seats. Now, to think this is the fourth generation. Now, the previous gens weren't a bad car at all. It wasn't the most engaging vehicle in the world. Whereas with this, because it's on the new platform, it's got more torsional rigidity. It's got 80% made from strengthened steel, and it's pretty quick off the mark too. It'll pull 0 to 60 in around eight seconds. But to be honest, I'm getting carried away with myself. What we'll do is we'll take a deeper look at the car throughout the road trip. Can't wait for this one. Whilst I was out today, I was looking at some older models of Fabia. It's changed a fair bit. It's definitely, I suppose what you call a far more attractive car. So we're gonna head to Windermere some fish and chips and meet up with a friend that we we're attending a wedding in i think it's july we've also got a press car for that so that'll be another road trip next stop windermere you've got to love this car haven't you Oliver? it's fantastic well that's it a skoda's a good honest car Clear. but when you up rate to monte carlo it becomes so much more Whoa, 150 PS and a DSG. Very little road noise, isn't it? And we're running 18s. They're very comfortable. Yeah, they're supportive as well. In sport, well, it becomes a different animal. Wow, it's warm. Not like in it's this. It's muggy, isn't it? Yeah. I think we need a thunderstorm to clear the air. We do. As Ben was saying about the weather, we kind of uh, skipped spring yep. and gone from winter straight into a muggy summer's day. Well, that's certainly how it feels anyway. Ben's just enjoying the handling that comes with Skoda's Fabia. <laughs> it's the speed that it takes to drop a gear. No time at all, really. No paddles. Yeah. I mean, look at the handling. Lovely steering. Nice and tight. Great feedback. It's 
supposed to talk, considering it's a petrol. We'll have a bit of a pleasant drive through to Windermere now, shall we? Yeah, maybe open the windows a bit so we can get a little bit of free ash air. You can package this up till your heart's content. But it's a fantastic car to drive. The other thing is, it looks far better than the previous gens. They look too bubbly. This, it's got attitude. That's the thing, it smooth shifts with the DSG. But it's clear, so kick now. people will be able to see from the bounce that just went on there that was quite uh, sporty wasn't it it was but it wasn't to the point that it was throwing you all over the no, shop. it was just great road holding yeah. it, it's chuckable but it doesn't make it uncomfortable to do so that it's really not smooth, good arc. yeah i found that quite a smooth acceleration there well even though it like went yeah it didn't jerk me as much as i thought oh, no, it was the going to is a damn good gearbox anyway isn't exactly. it? as we know i mean we've yeah. driven multiple vehicles with this let's see Oh look, another Skoda. Oh. Corrupt this time. Oops. Oh, I was in sport. You can't even tell when it's changing gear. It's seamless. You know it's yeah, I was about to say, it's a very smooth change, isn't it? Well, first time I drove it, I was like, wow, this is ferocious. What's going on? It's like, I'm actually in sport mode, no wonder. Put it in D, and it becomes a completely different car. We're fully kitted out, you know. This is a lovely piece of road, isn't it? Travelling at 30, it's a joy, isn't it? Wow, claims we're getting 152 miles per gallon on the instant economy thing. And the average has gone back up to 30, 30.1, 30.2. So it changes pretty quickly. Also, we've got loads of safety. We've got adaptive cruise, we've got AEB, mitigation systems, collision detection, you name it. It's quiet though, isn't it? It's only when you put them under load. 30.8. It's Ooh. climbing for fun. Why not have a look around the interiors and some of the red accents and I mean, just look at that infotainment. Decent size, responsive. Ah, that's not what I was going to start with. I was going to start with the sporty headliner because this well, is black. The, yes, reminds me of the golf. So no sunroof, black sporty headliner. But there is a panoramic as an option. Yeah, that's a nice infotainment screen. It's easy to use. You've got rotary dials there on the left and the right. These lovely red accents we were talking about before really make it pop and stand out. And it continues down here as well. Oh, just felt the lane keep assist. Thing is, it's not aggressive. It just goes in and out. I love these vents. It's very retro. And I love the styling on the door cards as well. 32.9 to the gallon. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's not like cars of old, is it? No. That you go, oh, I'm doing 27, and then by the time you get to Leicester from London, you're doing 28 miles to the gallon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like changes on a tuppence piece. As a passenger, I'm comfortable. Look at your seats hold well. I could see myself doing, or I could see us doing long journeys in this. They're nice cars. Yeah. 36 to the gallon. Woohoo! Uh, and it's still going up. Yeah. It's alright, I'll ruin it when we get to your carriage. 345 miles range. Where should we go? <laughs> so, Levens Hall on the left. Lovely bend this. And look at that. Yeah. Very nice. Is that guy on. What? That's rather interesting. Don't see that every day, do you? He's catching the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I run, there are no words, really, for what we just saw. Okay. Oh, that's smooth. I know you've got a bit of a row, yeah, which is great. Got, wow, the, the progression. Oh, we've got bikes everywhere. There must be, there must be some kind of uh, race on. Sound has ramped up in the cabin a little bit, but I'm not 
of surprise. Cause the roads here are terrible. Well, I was going to say, and we're on a dual carriageway doing yeah. 60. Tell me sport mode and I'm getting good economy. That's a win-win. It could really shift for this. Mm. Some power. No, it's a rather engaging car. I'm going to take it out of sport. It doesn't need it. You hear it? One yeah. is the seventh gear. Yeah. Feels well planted. said that for a while except being in an electric car have we? No, exactly, yeah. These aren't super heavy, so they're, in Annabelle's words, chuckable. Comfortable ride, isn't it? Yes, definitely. I like this steering wheel flat bottom too. <laughs> Saucy. <laughs> Remember when I went to the launch of the one before this, I got in the VRS, took it round a roundabout and it decided it didn't want to go round, it just wanted to go wee! Talky, those things. Mind you, diesel engine. Whereas this, petrol. Well, climbing up here, I'm still getting 35 to the gallon, just about. I'm doing 70. Yeah, I have noticed a little bit of wind noise coming off the mirrors, but put the music on, you just won't notice. I've forgotten how beautiful this is, Anna, but... Yeah, it has been a while since we've been down been this way. Yeah, got all the gorse up there on top of the fell. Such a pleasant drive. Responsive steering, lovely and weighty. Great feedback too. Look at this, the corners for fun. So on my cluster, you can see on the left hand side I've got my rev counter, you can see what gear I'm in, and the speedo on the right, and range in the middle of that. Nice and straightforward to read, you can see all the information rather easily. Also, it's got a virtual cockpit. Whoa, the linking assist is pretty damn good. This is all like base level tech. It reminds me of the Isle of Man, this bridge. And the bikers are going like 160. No, it is still called the Wild Boar. What are those fools talking about? Foolish things, obviously. I know. So Annabelle and I used to go regularly this way to our health club, the Lowood Spa. When co. all ended. Check that. Wow, get that for a boost. <laughs> Somebody's left a car seat there. Yeah. You know, like a baby, baby seat. seat. Yeah. I do like a Monte Carlo. That's the thing, it looks the part as well. I like the gloss black. They've redesigned a lot of the aspects as well, so it's far more efficient. But with that comes like a level of aggression that you just wouldn't really pen with Skoda. I mean, saying that, Kodiak VRS, that's a monster. I'm always pleasantly surprised how quickly we get there, get there when we go this way. I know, it's a good road. It's effortless as well. I see a lot more MGs around there. Oh yes, heck yes. All the materials. Mm. Okay, so we're dropping down now and it's a bonus, aren't we? The R, the R. Been there and hold it down a little. I did floor it as well because I know it's a notorious junction. Got the power down efficiently there. Just a bit of spinach. Spinach? Spinach. Spinach. <laughs> yes, Popeye. <laughs> so? We're here. Yeah, what is it? A mile and a half of that. We can go down Glebe Road. Yes. Half a oh, Mizumi. Ooh, that's new. That looks Japanese, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, we can see Lake Windermere. Fantastic. Fun. Energising. Always a pleasure. I was going to say, it's, uh, it's an enjoyable car to drive. So far, it's so good. No, impressive car. Now it's time for dinner. Yay! Oh, look, air care. Digital readout. Mm -mm -mm. And you can also get, I think it's a convenience package, which allows you to get things like wireless charging pad. And yeah, don't worry, you can disable start stop. Beautiful. What quieter than they expected as well. We've got the 18 inch wheels. Now you could go for the 17s, but I do think these Libras look, well, 
very smart. They've also got 45 profile rubber, black gloss, pearl roof, and the racing blue metallic paint. LED lights, adaptive cruise control, that's also an option, and all types of mitigation and safety systems, and convenience. Look, it's the Lex car, the Bentley. Ooh, no, keep going. And in true style, well, there's a Bentley, but more at the point, it's bucketing down. I was going to say, torrential. it's torrential, yeah. We are absolutely soaked through. Wow. Started off sunny, as always. Oh, it's a double decker and it's not an open one. Well, probably because they knew it was going to rain. Yeah, but <laughs> normally they just send them out anyway for fools like me and you. Ah. <laughs> the weather and weather to be ain't what it ought to be. Pa Rastelli. Is that like a pastafarian type nurse? Hey, uh, jive with, jump with me over to the, oh, no. Put your teeth in, dude. I was trying to do the Jamaican pastafarian night, but ah. it just wasn't happening. Well, let me guess, Bob's. Yes. I've got an umbrella in my door and an ice scraper in the petrol. What should we have thought of that before we went for the food? What, an ice scraper? The umbrella ah. in the door. Yeah, good point. Well, it wasn't raining when we set off. No, that was the thing. We just happened to sit out during the deluge. Deluga. Deluga caviar. Let's see how quickly it demists here, look. It's got air care. That's pretty quick. Nice. Voila, rapido. Rapido. This is Windermere. So you have Windermere and Bowness. Bowness is on Windermere, whereas this is actual Windermere. But not the lake. You with me? Yeah. I don't think they are. It's a bit like Mario and Luigi in the film. What? Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario. Luigi, 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 Mario? No, Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario. Uh, Mario Brothers. Yes. Hmm. Plumbers, yeah? Plumbers, yes. Okay. Not White House plumbers, just plumbers, plumbers. Yep. Check the torque, man. Yep. So we need to find the disabled. Oh, I was looking for disabled. Is this, the window? this is disabled, you cabin. Oh, it is, is it? Oh, cool, thank you. I didn't know that. This makes it rather easy to get home, doesn't it? We just literally get on that road there. Wicked. Now we've got LED lights on the front of this, but if you want them on the back, you can actually get them as an option. So that's pretty cool. Look at this, BS. That diffuser and the Skoda wording. Lovely car. Well, there we go. Well, we got a bit drenched, didn't we? A bit. Thank but by Windermere, homeward bound, eh? On the road again. Mood lighting. Ooh. It's rather smart. At night, isn't it? Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Everything's nice and straightforward to see. And just a quick blip. It's a decent sound system. And dab, kistry, yeah. Banging tunes. All nice and straightforward to read. Radio, media, menu, phone, app, car. And it's not all touchscreen either, which is nice. An old school handbrake. Yes, we love those. Start engine stop. It's got those like dimming lights. Look at that. Wow. It's always classy. And in the back too. Nice dark night. Let's see what the LEDs are like. It's got a decent throw on it. Yes, yeah, it's not bad at all, is it? The air is quite thick as well. So these are eco headlamps. But the fact they're LEDs is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Pleasant, chill drive back, I think. So we'll head through Ings. Should we try an economy run? Okay, so, right, do a range check. 36.8. 36.8 miles per gallon, okay. Yeah. Okay, and what, are you in sport still, or are you going to go into... Oh, no, no, I'm in uh, normal drive. All right, okay. So 36.9 now, it's gone up. Yeah. The thing about the DSG is it coasts as well. 37.4. <laughs> Thirty-eight point five to the gallon. Thirty-eight point six. It's got up again. Yeah, it's bucketing down once again. At least we're not standing out eating fish and chips this time. I know. Yeah, we ate fish and chips in the rain. Yes. Because the said chip shop said, "Oh, it's all right. You can eat yes. in the bottom of the restaurant." And yeah. What he meant was, you can eat outside the front door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can, eat down, you can eat downstairs. 
and obviously that meant outside. Yeah, I don't think we'll go to Jessica Jones again. No. And the rain's come down again. But it's got quieter in the cabin. 39.5, sir. We are getting close to 40, but it's now getting a bit sketchy. You estimated 44, so it's going to be interesting to see how close to that we can get. It is. Oh, it's really started to pour I think down it claims again. 45, 47 or something along those lines. Oh, man, this is really bad. Yeah, this is ridiculous. It's, uh, the thing is, when it's this wet, it's more like ice. Yeah. And I've seen cars spin off this before. Do you remember that time we saw a Porsche down there on the right? Yes, that was bad, wasn't it? Yeah. It seemed fine, but yeah, it went well off the road. Luckily, we've not got Lady Dorothy out today with her being real well drive. Yeah. And those whack tyres. <laughs> those whack tyres, yes. Yeah, it would be a risk. the MPG. <laughs> yes. It would be a risky pay for disaster, wouldn't it? It's not a race. <laughs> it's not windy, it's wet, it's not blowing around, it still feels well planted. Yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. But I'm happily travel along at 70 here to be honest. Yeah. Just trying to do the eco run, so 60 is probably the better option. That's one of the reasons we do the road trips in the first place, isn't it? Now that is decent driving, you see. Yes. Because it's wet, you did a fair few. 50, 60 yards in front, then pulled in using yeah. his indicator. It's nice to see that, it's rare nowadays. I thought the rain was bad before, it's getting worse. It is indeed. Well, signposted anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear, it's actually getting worse and worse. Yeah, I'm going to back off them. Wow. I do like the way the lights go. I, uh, the way they time them is great. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I've got continental tyres. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. This thing's not great. In case you're wondering, we're doing around 45 miles an hour, which I think is... Uh, it's plenty for this kind of condition. 20 is plenty, okay. or in this case, 45. We're coming down to Bretar Holt now. And this heavy rain has pretty much been a constant for the entire journey back, hasn't it? It's not affected the brakes, though. No. It's still got really good brakes, see? Yep. Stops as well as she goes. Oh, yeah. And the lights are good. The throw's excellent, isn't it? It is. A bit of water coming off that 500 then. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised with how much rain's come down in such a short space of time. Isn't it's, it? it's nippy, it's yeah. agile, and eminently chuckable. No, it's very well set up. Yeah. Combo the suspension, the brakes, the engine. Yeah. It's responsive. Punchy. It pulls way more than you expect to be honest. It's one of those kind of cars that punches above its weight. You will get in the enjoyable ride of being able to enjoy the nippiness. And I'm comfortably held and not being thrown around like a ragdoll. Oops. I kind of forgot we were on an eco run. Oh no! <laughs> so what do you reckon the MPG is now? I'm hoping it's gone up and because we were nearly 40, weren't we? Yeah. I bet you it's gone up. I bet you it's like 41. 42.3. Wow. Yeah, considering the way I came off the roundabout I was and then say, the dual carriageway yeah. and the A-roads. Um, Even in its chuckableness, it's actually economical. Well, that's I like we're traveling it. at 50 now and not backing off on the A-roads. and It's, uh, yeah, quite easily achieved 45 to the gallon. And that's driving... Like, like you drive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me if it's well over 50 on a super eco run. That's a great family vehicle, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's great it for a small really family, isn't it? Yeah. And you've got the Isofix points in the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. All those just little touches that they put in, like the ice scraper and the umbrella in the door. Yeah. Because they always just do think of these little finishing touches that just make life so much easier. Mm. One, of, one of the things we love about the brand as a whole. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> all of the above. Exactly. Absolutely no problem climbing here. Yeah. The gearbox is just it's it's seamless, intuitive. Isn't it? yeah. yeah, and it, it knows what it's doing, so it, it doesn't hesitate. It drops gears when yeah. it needs to, and it goes up gears when it needs to. Or shifts up, should I rather say. Okay, it was made the 4th of the day, so I'm sounding a little Yoda-ish. <laughs> Another really successful road journey, I mean, road trip. Road journey, yeah. that's a new one. Yeah, no. All in all, another successful road trip. Mm. I mean, it would have been nicer to have better weather, but... This it started of, off nice. It did, but it's one of the reasons we do road trips, isn't it? To showcase in all sorts of condition. It's a great price. You can pick them up for next to nothing in, a, say, the SE Comfort, but if you do want to go all out, can't go far wrong with a Monte Carlo. Exactly. That's the one I go for. Yeah. That's the one you Without go a for. doubt. Yeah. yeah. There's these little touches like these. It's just everything's well well put together, well laid out. We'd also go for probably the DSG, wouldn't we, over the manual? Yeah. Which is unusual because we do love a short shift, don't we? Uh, yeah. Well, especially we you. do. I suppose the difference is the DSG is always been a relatively good box. Very good to be honest. Well, this one is. There was that time that I drove one in one of the VWG cars and it was massively hesitant. But it's the only one I've driven out of like say 15 vehicles. That that which was the makes case, me think yeah. <laughs> it must have been to do with that vehicle as opposed to the actual box. Yeah. You know, it's a good pretty box. Pretty much anything VW group yeah. as um, they're a damn good box. Yeah. They're solid. You've got options, you can make you it can. your own. Yeah, yeah. You, you get do. a lot for your money for one of these cars. And they're well built, they're solid. Yeah. No, we love Skoda. Oh, sure? this stops raining, doesn't it? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the law of sod. <laughs> and on that note, we'll say goodnight. We will. If you've enjoyed the video, why not subscribe to the channel? It's free and it's easy to do. Just literally click on the icon on the right hand side. Also, if you've enjoyed it, why not give it a like? It helps and it means that we can get more cars, which means we can do more road trips. Okay, well, we haven't quite gone just yet. We thought we'd give you a final update on the fuel economy. Believe it or not, we're now at 43.2. And I've not held up. I've just driven like I normally would. So that's good. The petrol gauge just doesn't go down. It said 340 when we went. I think it was on the way to Windermere. It's now 325. Oh, wow. I know. So even though it's saying that economy, I think it's actually better. Oh, well, it's always a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, isn't it, Annabelle? Yeah. Thank you. Bye.